Today we're going to be answering more questions for atheists from Dr. Michael Brown. Do you have purpose and destiny? Would you say that even as an atheist, you still have a sense of purpose and destiny in your life, a feeling that you were put here for a reason and that you have a mission to accomplish? Or is it primarily people of faith who feel like this, since we are simply the products of an unguided, random evolutionary process? I don't think I was put here for a reason in the sense that a supernatural agent has like a plan for my life. But I still feel a sense of purpose as an atheist, and I don't think that feeling is unique to religious people at all. I'm very interested in reducing suffering, for example. And I wouldn't be doing the things I'm doing on YouTube if I didn't think that, in the long run, it would serve that goal, even if only in a small way. To me, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the purpose that you give yourself. As Felipe Leon playfully put it, Poor old God. No one external to him to impose a meaning or purpose on his life. His life must therefore be meaningless. Can science explain the origin of life? Do you believe that science can provide answers for many of the remaining mysteries of the universe, including how the universe began including where matter came from and where the Big Bang derived its energy, the origin of life, and DNA coding? Again, these questions are not intended to stump you or prove that science can't answer everything. Instead, I'm genuinely wondering if you feel comfortable saying, we may not be able to answer all these questions now, but over time, we'll get the answers, and we won't need a god to fill in the gaps. The heart of this line of questioning is the last sentence. As for me, I'm fine with saying that there may, in principle, be questions that science can't answer. But I also have a fairly strong confidence that things we currently have a sparse naturalistic account of now will be filled in with enough time. After all, whenever something is inexplicable to humans, we always tend to punt to supernatural explanations. And every time we have been able to test it, that assumption has been wrong. Every time. Because supernatural explanations have a terrible track record, it seems more likely to believe that a naturalistic account is more likely until proven otherwise. Are you materialistic? Are you completely materialistic in your mindset meaning? Human beings are entirely physical. Human consciousness is an illusion. And there is no spiritual realm of any kind? Or are you superstitious? Reading horoscopes or engaging in new age practices or the like? To be honest, a lot of these questions that I've been covering here on this series on Brown appear to be obviously leading questions. But this set seems to be both leading and based on genuine ignorance. It's either reductive materialism or reading horoscopes? Illusionism or new age practices? No panpsychism? Is he not aware that there have been atheists who are dualists? Leaving that aside, I consider myself a naturalist. Natural reality exhausts causal reality, and there are no supernatural entities. But what is the nature of natural stuff? I don't know. But what I do know is that I reject that there is a natural kind of stuff and a supernatural kind of stuff. And I also reject the existence of unembodied minds. So that's that. I finished answering Brown's questions. You may have noticed that this has been pretty mild. And that's because I'm just responding to questions, even though they are a lot of times leading. But if you want to see me dunk on an apologist, like I sometimes do, then click on this video next to me.